Hello everyone, this is Li Ying, working as Overseas Project Manager in Zosen Boiler. Now I'm standing at the gate of our company and I'm going to give you a tour of Zosen Boiler. Zosen was founded in 1988. We are A-grade boiler manufacturer in China and A-grade is the highest grade. Uh, geographically, here is the largest industrial zoom all over China. So basically you can find all kinds of manufacturers that can produce like steels, uh, valves, instruments, burners and all other kinds of auxiliary equipment within a radius of 300 kilometers. Also we are very close to Chinese largest port that is Shanghai Yangshan port. With my camera to the right, here is the new office building we built in 2010. Uh, we set up the production teams. Uh, QC department, uh, cell department, after cell department here. So everyone work as a team to coordinate with our sales team as a big group. Uh, nowadays we have all the performance on like all the continents all over the world and uh, we are literally familiar with all the designing standards of all the countries. And on the side of the new building there is a old fashion building that you can see this is uh, this has been standing here for 30 years seeing the growth of Zosen and now it is used to keep some company files now I'm standing at the entrance of Zosen modern workshops we totally have 12 workshops covering area of 150,000 square meters so in the workshops you will see our automatic controlled production lines and how the boilers are made step by step. We are going to start from this blanking workshop. This is our underwater plasma cutting machine, which is crucial equipment to ensure no deformation and a splash of steel plates after high speed cutting. Now you can see the steel plates are cut in the water. Actually, this is not water, but the cutting fluid. And in the beside area, you can see the cutted pieces are placed orderly in this area, ready to be used. This is the workshop for head storage. Let's take a close look at the entire piece of head. There's no joint on it. This is the complete piece. The max diameter of head we have done is 3.4 meters. The groove of the head is machine produced. Don't underestimate this groove. Its angle and the height of the blunt edge will determine the quality of welding. Look at my right hand side is the lace operation area. Right now you can see two vertical lace is efficiently beveling the heads. In this workshop, we produce the main components for gas oil fired boilers. On my right hand side, you can see the CNC plane drilling machines. They are equipped with the milling cutters imported from Germany. You can see the cutter is working very stable, they do not shake. A drilling of 26 mm thickness steel plates can be completed in only one minute which is four times faster than ordinary drill twist. On the other side of this workshop, uh, this is a corrugated furnace processing area. You can see that all our drums are one-time molding and then be treated over all flood detection in that room. So all these processes ensure the service life of our boiler. In this room, you can see our fully automatic controlled nozzle welding robot, which adopts Panasonic welder from Japan. As we all know, the smaller the nozzle is, the more difficult it is to weld. For nozzles below 50 millimeters, 
the water leakage rate is around 3 to 5 percent. In order to solve this problem, we independently developed this program. So we had no any water leakage problem until now. I'm very proud to say our nozzles has both good looking and a good function. As you can see, the joint between the pipe head and the mother pipe is arc shaped. So most the traditional manufacturer do is to draw a line first and cut accordingly. The accuracy is actually very poor. So we Zosen use the CNC cutting machine to do the job. So that we can ensure we can assemble the pipes in a very tight joint. Threaded tubes is one of the most important components of gas oil fire boilers with fire tube structure. Now we are coming to take a look at the production line of threaded tubes. This is the finish, the threaded tubes. As you may understand, the flue gas will go through into the tubes and exchange heat with the water outside of the tube. The water, the tube structure actually lead the flue gas uh, flow in rotation and lower the flow rate of flue gas in the tube, which eventually ensures the sufficient heat exchange between water and flue gas. The bright spot of our thread uh, tube is that we, we actually can adjust the pitch and uh, the depth between the thread according to different boiler designing. As you can see, we actually process all the fire tubes made by ourselves in our workshop, not buy them randomly from the markets. And we even polish each tube in to ensure uh, they can be per perfectly welded with next workpiece. The welding between tube and two plates is also not simple. The unique step we adopt is pre-expansion, which helps to eliminate the gaps between tube and two plates. And then we use argon-lock welding to reduce the welding stress. These steps eventually prolong the surface life of our boiler. Over here, you can see our free turn racks. Once the boiler proper are completed, they will be put on these racks. The racks can be turned 180 degrees so that our worker can find the perfect angle for welding eventually guarantee our boiler welding quality and improve our working efficiency. This is an exclusive nozzle welding robot in China. As you can see, the robot arm is automatically positioned in welding in different directions so that we have very good quality of boiler support. Take a look at these amazing details. After completing a sieve's work, such as smoke box accessory welding and hydraulic test, we come to this boiler insulation packaging area. Boiler insulation uses high quality aluminum silicon fiber and then evenly spread it with refractory material. The outside will be wrapped with stainless steel plates. As you can see, our staff is preparing the stainless steel plate uh, on the ground in this area. So in these ways, we can control the outside temperature of our boiler below 45 degrees, which effectively reduces the heat loss. Here is our boiler warehouse. Our boilers and all kinds of auxiliary equipment are arranged orderly here, waiting for delivery. There are some bright spots of our gas oil fire boilers. For instance, uh, we finished the terminal box arrangement of signal wire in our workshop. This is not only neat and beautiful, but also very convenient for customers to use. We are the only manufacturer to provide a secondary steering material for the gaps between furnace and the burner. Don't underestimate this material, they actually play a great role. Uh, the secondary ceiling can effectively prevent the gas escaping from the furnace. And these materials are very difficult to buy, so we just provide them with our boiler. In fact, our boiler outer packing plates are now processed by our new introduced laser cutting machine. So from our boiler appearance, 
you can see the laser cutting brings exquisite and delicate.